What's going on guys, Mike from Slow Speed. <clears throat> Enjoying one of the last 70 something degree days before we get into full fledged boost season. In the previous video, uh, stages to the E30 map. So now what I'm gonna do is, I'm pretty much just gonna show you guys how to data log. It's pretty simple. So reasons that you would need to data log, um, simple. You just, you know, want to see what's going on with your car. Maybe you uh, you want to send that file to a tuner and let them uh, um, adjust some following things on the tune. Maybe increase time, decrease time, anything. It could be anything. If you feel that something's going on with your car, you can uh, data log it, do like a pull, and go ahead and you can put it on the forums and people would just kind of, you know, take a glance at it and tell you, hey, listen, this might be what's wrong. Check into this, check into that. Uh, it's very beneficial to the everyday driver, the everyday commuter. I mean, you probably never will data log, but I don't know. I feel like everyone should be a little more in tune with their cars. So, I don't know, at least understand what's going on so you know what to look out for, especially when you start tuning your vehicle. But we're going to get onto the video and show you guys how to uh, data log. Peace out. So we got the OBD2 plugged into the port. We're going to open our handy dandy MacBook. So what I'm doing right now, guys, I'm just uh, loading up the uh, OBD agent. All right, guys, so I'm back. I'm going through the Going through the parameters right now, so I'm gonna add some more things that I think is important to me. Let me just take a look at the screen. Ambient temp. So I added the ambient temperature. Boost is already on there. And you can add pretty much whatever you want. Pretty much whatever you want to look at, you can add. Uh, I'm going down the list right here. I do fuel mass flow. This is what I really care about right here though. The high pressure fuel pump target and the high pressure fuel pump actual. Intake, got it. We're just gonna do the ignitions in all cylinders. One, two, three, That's board. So I have all these values. You guys can see on the screen. I'm gonna go ahead and put the car in first gear and I'm gonna just hit the gas to make sure all these values are running. Cool. Everything seems to be operating functionally. I mean, <laughs> operating function. Everything seems to be functioning properly. Just do a straight. All right, so I'm gonna hook it. And we are going to do a third. So you're gonna just keep the mouse on the start button for when you have to just go ahead and hit it. We're gonna go start rolling this way. It's not that hard, I promise you guys, I'm just filming. Put it in third gear, two grand, and go, floor. Oh. All right, cool. Too many things at once, and I'm not a good multitasker. I had to film, let off the gas, keep the car straight, and stop the log. So it's pretty, uh, pretty intense. I think I might sneak a top pull back in there too. Hmm. But yeah, so all right, so I'm gonna do it again. 
Start off. First gear. Let's let this guy do his thing. Third gear, we're at two grand. And go. Done. Let off. Stop on. Stop log. Brake pedal. Sheesh. All right, so I just did two third gear pulls. Uh, first gear and second gear, honestly, I don't think it's beneficial to even do those type of data logs. I think third gear is the, the magic number. Uh, so, I mean, there you have it, guys. I mean, it's, it's that easy. You can just go ahead and do a log. That's it. Uh, drive safe out there. Peace.